it's me Morgan and today I have a new wig video for you guys so I came on here bought it fresh and everything but we have a new friend over here and this wig is from Sealy Hair and I'll get into the specs in a second I just want to show you what she looks like y'all I went ahead and bought like a legit little wig head and I could use it prop it up but I don't have that part yet but I went and bought one and I have these little pins holding it down because I did try and like get baby hairs out and pluck the front of my hair um like I said in my last week video I am trying to work on my lace wig game but this one is going to be a glueless wig I do have elastic bands which I'll show you I have not put them in yet but first just want to show you the hair and it is colored and highlighted so here it is up close it is colored and highlighted um, here is what the lace looks like so I did take some baby hairs out and I tried my best to pluck it so hopefully it will come out cute but I really like it because it is like a highlighted wig and I really don't wear color like that. So we're gonna see how this one turns out. So here is the inside of the wig. Um, there's combs on this side, an adjustable strap, and here's the front of it. All right, so I have all my tools with me. I'm just gonna take my bonnet and scarf off. Um, and I'm going to put this on with the lace so y'all can see what it looks like before I do everything else to it. I didn't adjust the straps or anything. So, ooh, ooh, chilly. Okay. So, I don't know why I always end up putting my stuff on crooked. Um, but this is what it looks like when I first put it on. I'm going to do another middle part. Cause I like the way <laughs> the highlights look when it's in the middle um, but this is it so I'm gonna go and I definitely need an elastic band on here to like secure it down nice and tight um, I do have my lace tint spray from EBIN in the color light warm brown so I'm going to be using this underneath and then this is the elastic that I have. I got this from Walmart. I don't know why. Is it wet? Um, but it's a one inch elastic. I got this from Walmart. So I'm just going to take it and measure it. And so the way I measure how long I need the elastic is, is like I'll literally just take it and like put it on one side. I'm going to have to cut this because I can't hold all that. And then I go around the back of my head. Hold on, let me cut this real quick. Cause I gotta figure out. All right, this is better. So I just cut like a random piece off, but I will first um, sew the piece on one side and then put the wig back on and then stretch it to where it's comfortable and measure it with my finger and then just cut off the excess piece so it will fit. Um, I'm really, I don't really like doing it like on the mannequin head because I want it to be comfortable fit. Um, sometimes it might be too loose. Sometimes it might be too tight and all that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this in the back. All right, so I went ahead and installed the elastic band. So as you can see, it starts here on each side, kind of like by the cones. And then at the top where the lace is, I did use the EBIN lace tint spray to tint the lace because I did not bleach the knots or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace and put the wig on. All right, you guys, so I have the wig on and I have hair in my mouth, of course. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and I cut the lace off clearly. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do these baby hairs real quick. And then the rest of the hair, I'm gonna use my curling one. Well, I got a curling iron. We're going to try that first. I'm going to get my curling iron and put curls in it 
Um, so hopefully I cut these short enough because last time they were like a little too long for me. See, that feels long still. I want to cut them short to kind of like match my baby hairs, I guess. So this thing moved. All right, so we are going to lay them down. Actually, before I do that, I want to get my hot comb, which I forgot all about. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna get the hot comb. Move all this stuff out the way before I burn something down. I'm gonna get the hot comb and just comb this back. Oh my God, this thing is so hot. I just want to comb it back so I can easily like lay the baby hairs. So as you can see like here is where I made the baby hairs. So I'm just going to hot comb it down. Kind of like slick it back. Do the other side. This hot comb has been on for a while, so it is super hot. Alright. Okay, so that's like laying a little better. So I'm going to get my edge control and put these back again real quick. I'm going to get my edge control and lay down these edges I made in my last wig video um, y'all saw that underneath here these are my real edges baby hairs and if I put it too far in the front of them they look crazy and it looks like I have like a tiny tiny forehead so I just like to leave mine out to blend it with. I'm going to use this Edge Booster from Style Factor since I don't use it on my hair anymore. I'm going to use it on this and put some down. All right. Hopefully I don't look crazy. Oh, okay. Okay. I think that was good. What happened? Okay. Yeah, I'm like actually doing it. It looks a little thick though. But, y'all, I feel like I'm doing something. Just move that over. Okay, I messed it up. <laughs> I just feel, <laughs> now it looks so like, it just looks so thick. Like how, I even plucked some of the baby hairs. How do y'all do this? Like, how do y'all make them look like a little thinner? Or maybe it's supposed to be like this and I'm just so used to like always having, you know, thinner baby hairs. I don't know. <laughs> lay down that baby hair is laid I need to get some got to be glue spray I'm gonna spray it on here so it will stay but you know I think I almost did it Yay. okay I have the free spray and I just use it up here so why is it not coming out <gasps> Don't do this to me, not today. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I don't know what's been going on. Like, uh, all of my aerosol stuff, it's like not been working. And I'm really confused why, like, there's a bunch in here. Oh, there it goes, okay. Yeah, I have like aerosol deodorant. And when I spray that, it like, does the same thing it 
won't come out and it's weird but oh my gosh i am so proud of myself okay so did that um let's take it down and kind of look at it and see what we're working with so i will say like this piece is just like kind of thick like on this side it's not as thick but on this side it's a little more thick right there but i think it's okay i kind of want to move can i move this oops okay all right so that's what it looks like so far i'm gonna use this curling iron and i'm gonna put some big curls in it and i will fast forward it and then i'll show you what the final look is understand I have came a long way with this wig okay I've been watching videos like how to perfect it and everything um, so I did go in like deeper with this baby hair thing the last wig I had I was like a little scared of baby hair but this one I really like it I don't know why my um, part always looks crooked um, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's not really crooked. I think it's like this part right here. Let me get my mirror. I think it's like this part right here because when I do do the front baby hair part, I do like to have it to the side and go that way. And I do that because that's just the natural way my natural baby hairs go. So I kind of like try to mimic it like that. But y'all, I really like this. I like the color of the wig. Um, and like I said, this hair is from Sealy Hair, and it came in this bag right here. So it is a 13 by 4 lace front wig. It's 20 inches, and it is 200% density. So this wig has a lot of density to it. It's thick. Um, so yeah, and it came in a body wave texture. So this is Body Wave. I know y'all saw the beginning of the video when I first showed y'all before I did anything to it. That was the natural pattern of it, but I decided to put these little curls in it. So I did decide to put some curls in it and it is Body Wave texture and it comes down to here, like right underneath my armpit. I am five foot three, in case y'all are wondering like how long it would be on y'all. So it goes down to there. But I just think this is so cute. Like, I love it. I'm just loving the color of this wig. It's so soft. It feels so good. And please let me know how to get rid of these little flyaway things because I cannot, like, I don't know what to do. I tried using, like, the curling wand, curling iron, putting them down, and they are just not they're not staying down so what do I do to get rid of that please let me know um yes you guys I'm just let me turn around so y'all can see the back okay yes it's just so bouncy and moody I haven't had straight hair like in forever well, this is body weight, but it seems straight to me. But the curls are falling, so at the bottom, they're still there, as you can see. But at the top, they are kind of like falling down. So I'll probably put, put flexi rods in them just so they can stay better and not fall like this. But other than that, I am loving it. Um, so I'm going to make sure I leave all the info linked below. Please let me know what y'all think about my hair this time. I feel like it's much better. And I'll see you next time. Bye, you guys.